Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome! I'm Polina and I'm happy to see you here and please don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. So guys, uh, I think you're gonna like it because I'm gonna need your opinion this time and I'm gonna need it so much because I want to share with you my perfume wish list. So every single perfume that is currently on my wish list that I didn't get yet. So yeah, let's just jump right in. And guys, I would love to know what is your perfume wish list. Because you know, we talk so much and I feel like we're getting um, so much in the friend zone in here. It's gorgeous to just, you know, express our ideas and our cravings. So please let me know in the comments below what your fragrance wish list is. And what's the most important, please let me know what you think of the fragrances that are on my wish list. So should I get them? Should I not get them? Should I get something else? Any recommendations? You know what to do, hi? Huh? Okay, let's start. So guys, the first fragrance that I want to get, it's a very cheap one. I mean, not very cheap one, but it's not like super niche price. It's by L'Envon and it's Girl in Capri. So it's their new release and I feel like it's going to be a gorgeous citrus fragrance. Even though I have so many citruses, I can never go wrong with one. So let me know what you think. Uh, but the notes are very, very interesting. It's like woody citrus. So not too sweet, but not too air freshener kind of fragrance. I did spray it once in Sephora and I really, really liked it. And I heard it has a good longevity. So if you already have it, let me know what you think. Okay, next one is actually a fragrance that I already did own back in the day, but I feel like I wanna try it once again because I'm really into that Benzoin vibe. And I recently did a poll on Instagram. Please follow me there again. Um, and you guys really recommended Prada Candy as your favorite Benzoin caramelly fragrance. And I must say, I really, really loved it back in the day. What I am afraid of though, is that I heard it's been reformulated and the longevity is not as good. So if you own the new version that it's currently in stores, please let me know how it performs because I'm really, really curious. And I would love to get it because I did love the fragrance back in the day. It's like very sweet, but quite sophisticated kind of sweet. Uh, caramelly benzoin, like um, brown sugar kind of vibe. I really, really like it. Okay. There is a new Dolce & Gabbana from this collection, this like garden collection. And it is called Dolce Shine. So it's in a yellow bottle. And guys, I'm super into the notes because they're like, um, they're not as coconutty as this one. It's like more citrusy. I feel like it's going to be very, very good. But again, I'm not sure about longevity because some people on Fragrantica have been saying that it's not as great. If you own it, let me know. And, you know, I really, really love this one, the, the garden one. Um, so we'll see. But Dolce Shine is next on my list from that range. Okay, uh, then on my wish list actually, because I wrote this wish list like two weeks ago, uh, was Tom Ford Orchid Soleil, but I actually do already have it. So it came and I already showed you uh, this fragrance in my last video, so check it out. So that's not on my wish list anymore. Okay, now from the niche brands. Mancera Velvet Vanilla. One of my lovely subscribers, Katarina, has been um, really, really recommending it to me and I really feel like getting it. So please let me know what you think about Velvet Vanilla if you have it because I've seen other comments uh, referring to that fragrance. So I think that many of you like it. Let me know if, we, if it would be me, you know? If, you know how how I roll, you know what I like. Would it be me to get Velvet Vanilla? Please let me know. Again, another one, Mancera Roses Greedy. So it's like a rose musky scent, but I saw that it has some very interesting notes in there. So 
I might get it. I might get it. If you have roses gritty, really let me know about the performance and stuff because I'm really interested to get that one. And uh, in the same family, I feel like getting Montal Roses Mask. This has been recommended to me by my absolute favorite friend here on YouTube, Moon Perfumes, and she raves about uh, Roses Mask. So, you know, I'm on the fence between Roses Mask and Roses Greedy. Should I get them both? Should I get one or the other? Let me know. It's hard to sniff because there is no shop that carries Monstera on Montal where I live currently. Okay, next, uh, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This has been recommended so much to me. Tell me what you think. I know this is the signature Rihanna fragrance and I, I am all for Rihanna. I want to smell like her, why not? Tell me about the longevity if you own it, if it is me kind of fragrance, if it really does smell sweet. I really would love it to smell sweet and like caramelly. I really hope it does. So let me know. Next one. Uh, Francis Courdijon Baccarat Rouge, the original or the extract. Let me know which one is better. Considering I already have so many dupes for the original, for Eau de Parfum. I have Federico Mahora, which is like 100% dupe. I have um, Alhara Main Rouge, which is 95% dupe. So maybe, what do you think? Maybe I should get the x -rayed. Is it better? Is it different? Is it more me? Let me know. I'm curious. From Francis Cole de Jeanne, I also would like to try a Gentle Fluidity Gold. My friend here on YouTube also raved about it and I love her videos and I love her taste. So maybe I should try it. So let me know what you think about Gentle Fluidity Gold. From Al Haramein now, I have two fragrances that I wanna try. First one is Yunon Rose, which is supposedly a dupe for one of the um, Amouage perfumes, the, the one in pink bottle. So I'm really, really on the fence uh, because there are so, some powdery notes that I'm not really into that much, but you know, Maybe it's good, maybe you have it and you know, for some reason I crave it. For some reason I do crave it. The you know rose. And again from All Hormain, Aventure Hair, which is supposedly a great juke for Creed Aventus Hair. So I'm again a little bit on the fence with it because I'm not into berry notes and I think there are some berry notes. So let me think, oh, let me know. I mean, let me think about it and let me know what you think of it. That's what I meant in my head. And, you know, I think faster than my mouth is able to speak and sometimes I eat words. Terrible, terrible habit. Anyways, so again, uh, that's from the niche. I'm really, really into these perfumes, so let me know what you think of them. And uh, now from Swiss Arabian, I really, really want to try Casablanca. I've already ordered it, so it's not like on my wish list anymore. I already ordered, uh, but I'm still very, very like anticipating to try it because it was a blind buy. So if you already have it, I know so many of you recommended it to me, so let me know what you think. Did I do the right thing or the wrong thing, you know? But yeah, Casablanca has been um, requested for me to review so many times and I was so hesitant to get it. I finally ordered it So we will see how this goes now another one on my list list is from this range From uh, the Killian um, You know the, the ball range. I have the princess and I would also love to get after sunset so if you do own After Sunset, let me know how it performs again, because this is the most important thing for me. I love the scent, I already sniffed it. But yeah, I'm a little bit hesitant when it comes to longevity and stuff, because uh, these perfumes have very mixed opinions and uh, on them. And uh, some people say princes don't last on them at all, but on me, it lasts perfectly. Even when I don't smell it, I still get compliments and people are crazy about it. So 
let me know about the uh, After Sunset because it's a very interesting fragrance in my opinion as well. So that's that. Next, uh, from Kayali or Hayali. I love the whole concept of the brand. I'm super into Vanilla uh, 28. I have only this one from the whole range. So I'm very, very curious to try some other ones. So if you have any recommendations, which one I should go next, please let me know because I'm very, very, very into that brand at the moment. So yeah, you know, I don't really like patchouli and there is some patchouli in their fragrances as I read the notes. So that's what gets me like a little bit, mm, I don't know. But let me know what's your experience with Kayali because vanilla is my jam. I love this one. So I'm sure I might love some others. So that's that. Now, I would really, really also love to try... What do I want to try? What did I want to try? Oh, so what I also really, really want to get are some other Aqua Allegorias. I promised myself I would not get them anymore because the... Let's be honest, the longevity is not the best. I did own so many in the past. This is like my fourth bottle of Tesura. Limon Verde I love, and this is actually good with lasting. I love Pamplaluna. I love Mandarin Basilic. I love Le Soleil. It's unfortunately discontinued and super hard to get. And now they released Granada Salvia and they released Orange Soleil, which I really did like. So let me know if you would like to see a review from me on them and if you like me to get them because I'm keen. But would you even like to hear about them? Are you into Aqua Allegorias? Let me know. So yeah, that's that. And guys, I think that for now, this might be it when it comes to my wish list. Of course, it moves and expands and shrinks and expands. It's very, very weird. Uh, also, I know I get more uh, a lot of requests on reviewing um, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal. I did own the original. I gave it to my mom and she used it up, unfortunately. Uh, but there's also Scandal by Night, uh, which people rave about, and the new Scandal. So tell me, tell me, tell me, what should I get? What would vibe with me? What do you think? And what are your other recommendations on perfumes that I should get? Please let me know. I'm super curious. I will be moving soon uh, from Europe. I'm moving to South Africa uh, with my partner. Uh, so it's way easier for me to get all these perfumes now because you know I know my shops here. I know where to get the best prices. So I would really rather uh, get them within the next month. It would be perfect because then it will be too late So please 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 let me know about your recommendations and your Perfume wish list. Is there is there anything on your wish list for my collection? Please let me know. I'm very very curious Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a shorter video, but I hope you liked it And please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Bye